So I'll tell you what I what I use that seems to be working. Um, okay, so uh, I'm using this Weller um, 100. I've seen them at Sears for about 50 or 60 dollars, and I think I got mine on um, eBay. It works great, and I like that you can control the temperature. But really, you don't want to leave it going too long. You're gonna get. I like to do like um, one, two, or three. I like to get the necklaces I'm gonna do all together, completely ready. You know, they've got to be completely ready to solder. You're not gonna assemble them while this thing's heating up or anything like that. They got to be ready to go. So right now, I'm just gonna do one, um, uh, and I've got it on three because I didn't want it to overheat while I'm talking. A lot of people say, don't do this, don't dip it right in, don't put flux directly on the thing. But because I'm talking, I don't want it to, uh, you got to keep the tip silver. If the tip starts turning black, um, you're going to mess it up. You're either going to burn it out and have to buy it, replace the tip, and they're expensive, uh, or you're going to have to go through this big rigmarole to get this the tip um, tinned again. So you want to keep it from getting oxidized. So you're going to keep cleaning it on a wet sponge. You're going to keep putting a little flux on it and keep um, putting your solder on the end to keep it from uh, getting too hot, burning off all the, all the uh, solder. Once the solder gets burned off and then it starts getting oxidized, then it turns black. And then no matter how hot it gets, it's not going to be able to uh, make the solder flow. It's not going to melt the solder, and you're not going to be able to figure out what the heck's going on. So, I'm going to turn this down a little bit, because I'm going to be doing a little bit of talking. So, I'm going to put it down to, like, one or two. Um, let me clean this. So, this has a little spot for a sponge, but it's a little bit small. Um, I like to take a sponge on a great big thing like this. And, um, what do you want, Kitty? Okay, so I'm going to put some water on this thing. We need a sponge, a damp sponge, not sopping wet really. Um, I don't want to touch it. Okay, so I bought one of these at Radio Shack and even though it looks heavy and it feels heavy, this little thing is way too um, small. This little spongy thing, unless you're going to do one little tiny necklace and be done. Uh, in this thing, unless you're going to screw it down into a uh, Unless you're going to screw it down into your workbench, which you can do, I think. Well, anyway, it's heavy, but it's just really not heavy enough. Once you start uh, putting this thing in and out of here, um, it's going to be sliding all over the place. It's better than nothing, but I don't think it's sufficient. I guess it's better than nothing. It's not that bad. <laughs> well, nothing looks hot. I guess it's not that bad. What do you want from me? I can't help you, man. What does that cat want? I guess it's not that bad. I didn't throw it out, so it's not that bad. Um, okay, and then the thing with the flux, do not be rubbing on that thing. Get out of here. Uh, something wrong with my cat. Okay, so the flux situation. I can't, I'm going to have to explain this later. I put a little tiny bit of flux in a jar like this. Um, because the biggest thing is you always want to be using clean flux. So you don't want to be double dipping all the time. You're going to use it for one or two sessions, like in a day. I bought this thing and I, when I was at a teacher supply or the like, science store or whatever. I bought the stopper if I'm going to stop, you know, like uh, stop, do some stuff, and then come back and um, go back to it later in the day. But... If I'm gonna, if I'm not, if I'm done for the day, I'm gonna dump this somewhere in some dirt somewhere because I don't know what to do with it. But it's toxic. You don't want to put. I don't think you should put it down the sink. And uh, I might put it outside up high somewhere so an animal can't get to it and just let it. Um, what do you call that? Um. Um. Yeah. Anyway, just let it evaporate. Um, because I don't know what to do with it. You don't want to leave it in the house. Um, and you don't want to reuse it because uh, it's going to mess up your jewelry. Okay, so you're going to wait. So when you do use it, 
I use this because it's for jewelry. You want to use uh, safety flux for copper foil. It's um, it's just safer. You don't want to buy the flux at the hardware store. If people are going to be wearing it against their skin, it's just uh, it's just not safe. <laughs> That's like for plumbing, and uh, I don't know what's in it, but you don't want to make your loved one sick. So this is supposed to be, uh, it's non-irritating to skin and um, no greasy mass, uh, no zinc chloride, no hydrochloric acid, no corrosive residue, no ammonium chloride, environmentally safe. So, you know, it's going to be against people's skin no matter how much you clean it. Still, you want to feel like you're not um, hurting people with your jewelry. <laughs> so I got that. I got this. It was eight bucks at a um, stained glass apply. Do not, you can use, you can use the stuff at the hardware store. You can get, I get my um, solder at the hardware store, um, lead free, but I don't, I don't use the flux there. Okay, so I'll tell you the, 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 the uh, solder I use is um, burns o silver bearing, metal work, acid core solder. It's lead free. It's got to be lead free because, you know, you don't want to kill people. And this is 8 ounce. Um, you can get different um, diameters. This one's okay. There's also a narrow one. This is fine. I don't know what this one, what diameter this is. This might be a little thicker. Oh, this is um, 1.6 millimeters. There is some stuff called Silver Bright. This is 8 ounces, and I don't remember what I paid. I want to say $16, $16 to $20. It'll last forever if you're just doing necklaces. It'll last you, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 necklaces or something. But um, you can get Silver Bright, which is pretty expensive. I haven't. I'm just too cheap to do it. These are plenty shiny, and I kind of like the pewtery color. Um, there's, it's lead-free. It's a shiny silver color. If you want to buff it up, it looks shiny and silver. If you don't, you know, it gets um, it gets a blackened kind of um, tarnished silver color. So I just um, I actually like that color. So I haven't spent the money on silver bright. At twenty bucks a necklace, and I don't even want to, I don't even sell them anymore. <laughs> um, you know. I don't know. People don't. I, I just don't think people are going to pay what it would cost me to do something like that. Okay, so let's get started.